Should you keep snails with your Daphnia? I got something cool here to show you. I have two tanks side by side. One has snails, one does not have snails. So I will visibly show you the difference. All right, so obviously snails. That's what this tank looks like. This is more of a shrimp tank, so I don't really do anything special for these Daphnia. And this is about the natural carrying capacity of this tank. Every day it looks like this. All right, let's look at the tank without snails. And you may see some small snails in there. I accidentally got some pond snails in there, but I've been squishing them out. But for uh, uh, essentially, it's, it is snail free. All right. You can see quite a difference, can't you? Just a lot more Daphnia. These Daphnia are even plumper, right? They look better fed. So what's the difference? All right. It's interesting. Most uh, people out there will tell you to keep snails with your Daphnia. But obviously we can see without snails, a lot more Daphnia. What's happening here? When I put some food in here, like this uh, lettuce leaf here, the snails make very short work of it, right? So it pretty much goes in the, as a lettuce leaf and 24 hours later, it's snail poop, all right? Let's look at this other tank. What happens in this tank is when I put food in there, right? So essentially any decaying organic matter that is in here then takes longer to break down, right? Just the process is taking longer. It's more on a microscopic scale, right? So in here, these snails quite large consume whatever I put in there quite quickly. In here, that food any and any other random organic matter dwells longer. So it, what's happening is it's going through further stages of decay. All right. So what, what's happening is the things that for just saying it the easiest way, the things that consume decaying organic matter is food for the Daphnia. All right. So is just that organic matter then decays, it dwells in here. It's just additional opportunities for the Daphnia to consume something, all right? Makes sense. Add something in here, snails eat it right away, pretty much turn it into poop right away. In here, things just sit longer, and you can see, uh, you know, the tank has a bit more of a rich uh, look to it. I have something here along those lines I want to show you an example so if you look at this pot disregard that pot all right because that pot that plant was floating in here and I just uh, potted it a couple days ago but this pot's been in here a while and you can see it's quite organic these pots have been in here in this tank the same amount of time and they're pretty much brand new looking and that's just the snails doing what snails do all right so uh, Daphnia culture with snails will be cleaner, but you'll have fewer Daphnia. Without the snails, you'll have more Daphnia, but a, a dirtier tank. So it's it's really down to preference. Um, either way you go, it's it's fine. But if you're really wanting a large uh, harvest, then obviously you'd go with, without the snails. All right. And I just want to give a shout out to my red snails here. Snails don't get enough enough love in the world. This is my uh, red ramps horn line. But uh, anyway, so there you go. Snails, no snails.